Hello friends, welcome to Electronics for You. In this video, I will explain architecture of 8051 microcontroller. So this is the diagram for the architectural view for the 8051 and uh, you can see here that there are some blocks for the 8051. This is are the ports 0 and port 2 and you can see for the port latch of the respective port. Same thing will be seen here. It is port 1 and port 3 along with their latches. This is ALU. This is PSW register, temporary register 1 and temporary register 2 along with accumulator and B register. Again you can see here program register, then program counter and DPTR. This is stack pointer, this is ROM and RAM and this one is timing and control unit. So if you want to divide uh, this architecture into blocks, then we can divide it into ports like this then timing and control units will be there then ram and rom will be there that is data memory and program memory respectively and most important one is this one that is microprocessor or we can say the cpu along with their different registers so let's start with the explanation here as i already told that uh, it can be divided into cpu program memory that is ROM, data memory that is RAM, input and output ports and last one is the timing and control unit. So let's see the working for each. The first one is CPU. 8051 has 8 bit processor. Therefore, we can say that the ALU for the 8051, ALU performs the arithmetic and logical operation and it is of 8 bit and its operating frequency is 12 megahertz for most of the version. For some version it may vary up to 24 megahertz also. The CPU consists of several registers I have already told uh, and these registers are used to store the data and control the operation of a microcontroller. Some registers are used to store the data. These are known as general purpose registers and some registers are used to control the operation of microcontroller which are known as special function register that is SFR. Here the accumulator, the first register is accumulator. It is mostly used in all the arithmetic and logical operations and uh, also used to store the data. Second register is the program counter which will indicate the address of next instructions to be executed because microcontroller has to check uh, the uh, each and every instruction which is to be run and program counter will help for that purpose. The stack pointer is used to point out the top of the stack. Stack is the, a location in the uh, data memory which is used to store the temporary data and stack pointer will point out these memory location. Then there will be some general purpose register and used to store the data and special function registers which is used to perform the operations which are actually used for controlling the microcontroller. Also the CPU of 8051 that is the processor of my, uh, microcontroller will perform different types of instructions including arithmetic instruction, logical instruction, data transfer instruction, branching instruction and uh, bitwise instructions. So uh, this is about the CPU. Now next one is the program memory. Program memory is also known as code memory or ROM. It is the permanent memory and generally program is used to store into the permanent memory. The program memory may be ROM or flash. The size of the program memory for 8051 vary from 2 KB to 24 KB and for most of the version 80, for 8051 it is 4 kilobyte. 
the program memory is divided into two section actually it is divided into two section the code memory that is used to store the code and another one is the data memory actually this is the this is used to store the lookup table here lookup table or we can say the tables next one is the data memory data memory is used to store the temporary data which is used during the operation the data memory can either be internal ram or external ram so data memory can be internal ram which is actually 128 bytes for most of the uh, versions of 8051 family and external ram can be varied up to 4 ki uh, 64 kilo byte data memory is also divided into two sections one is general purpose registers and another one is special function registers general purpose register i have already told they are used to store the data during operation and sf are used to control the operation of microcontroller note here that there are many types of sfr and uh, one by one it will be covered later next uh, block is the input output ports as name indicates it is input and output ports generally ports are used to interface with the output outside world because microcontroller has to be uh, connect uh, has to connected with the other devices such as leds keyboards uh, then uh, relays sensors etc and uh, for that input output ports are used 8051 microcontroller has four ports each port is of 8 bit and these ports are known as port 0 port 1 port 2 and port 3 each port for 8051 can be configured as either input or output so each and every port can be uh, configured as input or output therefore here you can say that port 0 can be used as io ports 1 2 and 3 means each port can be used for input and output but along with that some ports are having alternate function also port 0 can work as lower order address lines as well as data lines for the 8051 microcontroller as these are of 8 bit so 8 bit data lines will be there or 8 bit lower address lines are there total uh, lines for the Uh, address are 16 and therefore higher order address lines these are the lower order it lines higher order address lines will be provided by the port 2 thus port 0 and port 2 can be used if the external memory is used port 3 are having many alternate functions which will be used in serial communication interrupts and they are used to read or write the input output devices and memory also so uh, these are the different functions for the input and output ports next section is the timer and control unit again it is one of the most important uh, unit for the uh, 8051 microcontroller the main function of timer as you can see here its name is timer and the main function for the timer is to make a delay or otherwise time gap among the two events if there are two events and you want to provide the time delay between them then timer is used 8051 consisting of two timers for most of version and three timers for some version so uh, these timers are known as timer 0 and timer 1 also t0 and t1 each timer means timer 0 and timer 1 is of 16 bit they can generate two delay concurrently so timer 0 and timer 1 can be used independently and they can work parallelly also the delay can be generated through the timer based requirement of the processor and transmits the signal to the processor whenever the particular delay gets generated and uh, apart from this timer uh, timer and control units are also consisting of some control signals such as reset then xtl1 xtl2 pins then address latch enable pin and these pins used for the various functions 
it will be covered in my next video where I will explain the pin configuration for the 8051 and uh, here uh, note here that these pins are used for the various purposes such as system reset means reset is used to uh, reset the microcontroller then clock input can be provided through XTAL1 and XTAL2 likewise and address bus control etc. And friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share thank you